When COVID-19 hit New Zealand, the local live music scene hit a brick wall. Live music needs an audience, but with gatherings of any size banned for the foreseeable future, the local music scene is suffering. And it's not just the performers affected, it's everybody behind the scenes too. The merch people, the security people, the people on the, um, people on the door, the promoters, the, um, the riggers, the stagehands, all of them have seen their livelihoods go from being sustainable to being completely unsustainable in a matter of days. The charity Music Helps has stepped in to offer those facing hardship some much needed support. Music Helps has been around for about eight years and it does two things. On one, on one side we develop and support projects in the community that use music to help people in need. So that includes music therapy in hospices and hospitals, music therapy with, I'm sorry, music projects with at-risk and vulnerable young people, uh, and music with disabled people, stuff like that. The other side of what we do uh, is emergency financial assistance and counselling support for Kiwi music people who, who are experiencing illness, distress and hardship. During lockdown, many artists have had to think and perform outside the box. You have lots of innovative models coming out. Um, there's the model that you know, Nadia Reed who had a massive US tour, totally just shut down um, in a matter of days, which may have been an incredible opportunity for her. She sold uh, tickets via Eventbrite to a password protected Zoom show, and I believe that she got 400 attendees, which would have been a fantastic you know, uh, show for her. Tauranga performer Damo saw his busy gigging schedule dry up almost overnight. I've done between like three and five gigs a week. Sort of the local stuff like Dinner in the Domain, that's where I was at and then obviously with the COVID situation with the lockdown, pretty much overnight, you know, I saw every gig was gone within two days and I, I can't honestly predict what's going to happen in the near future. But lockdown turned out to be a blessing in disguise. I started doing some live streams I think, and that was really good because that's something I haven't done, I'm older so I was pretty useless with the social media. Probably only had like my little toe in that door prior to the lockdown and since the lockdown I've put a lot more effort into t just trying to basically see how that, that whole virtual world works and it's been quite good actually, it's been a good, that's been a positive, a silver lining if you will out, out of the whole lockdown experiences. Mount Monganui DJ Aisha Key has a similar story. I had a couple of weddings lined up and stuff and they got cancelled. Um, my residencies and things like that got cancelled. I think I'm lucky in the situation where I'm okay at the moment. I can't tell you how much that's going to be okay for a while, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky that, that I wasn't living week to week. Since COVID-19 hit, the arts have been more important than ever. When we've been locked down, have you been drawing? Have you been listening to music? And it's all those kind of little bits of the arts that people don't realise how much value it is until it's taken away from them. Because we won't be getting a lot of international musicians coming through. That we, we look at what talent we've got here and we do support those people and stuff. And buying and supporting local doesn't just mean buying a takeaway from the chippy. What we've done is launched a campaign called Music Helps Live. Um, and it's not just about, it is about um, raising funds for so that we can provide counselling support and emergency financial assistance to those people that are really, really doing it tough. But it also includes a whole lot, a whole lot of ways in which people can support the local industry, support local and buy local. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.